Hi Shed Hackers. Um, a couple of subscribers have asked us a little bit about the woods we use and why we use them um, and what uh, alternatives they uh, could perhaps use. So I thought it's a good opportunity to perhaps do a little bit of a clip on the types of woods, where they come from, why we use them and uh, a little bit of background behind the types of woods that are available. Okay, so let's start off with the re research I did. And my son and I have done a little bit of research and um, we found out there's quite a few different parts to uh, a tree. And here's one we've cut off earlier. Um, and you can see the pith. And you can see the uh, annual rings. Um, and the, the bark on the outside. And you can see perhaps where it's fallen at one point and there's been a shake and a change to the grain structure. The pith is the hardest part, the oldest part, and the rings obviously indicate each year's growth, hence their annual. Um, and then moving across, you can see here, there's a little bit of detail on how it's converted into planks from the log. And this is actually quite a science, actually, because it's really important they use the wood most efficiently. Um, so there's not much waste. Uh, you'll find that all the wood from a tree is used in some way. And we'll go back to the book in a little while, but um, for the moment, let's just look at the categories um, of woods. Okay, so um, this is softwoods, as you can see. This is yellow pine, uh, and this is Douglas fir. And the difference is they're different type of... Uh, they're still in the pine family, but a different species that makes sense and uh, Douglas fir has a better grain structure and then we've also got piranha pine which is a slightly darker pine but a uh, very straight grain as you can see and uh, some of the examples of yellow pine and Douglas fir being used is dowel rods uh, like the ends of uh, stair gates or uh, I think, it? yeah and then uh, even in some of our projects, we make uh, stuff out of yellow pine normally because it's more sustainable. Okay, moving on, shed hackers to hardwoods. And here we've got a selection of species of hardwoods. Um, and this is just a small selection of uh, species that are available in woods. Um, we have ramin, aphromosia, wenge, great looking wood that. Looks like ebony a little bit, used on the old piano keys. Maranti, which is a cheaper form of aphromosia and mahogany. Often it's used for similar situations. Ash, um, we think this is cherry on the bench, uh, tri-square. Teak, red oak, sapili, beech and maple. Beech is used in kitchen situations, very hygienic. It sort of has a self-cleaning property to it. A bit of lignum vitae, very... Um, expensive wood often um, used in old-fashioned bearings on um, devices very very hard wearing a lovely lovely wood very uh, wood to use very dense in extre extremely um, and this is eucalyptus it's off a fairly large eucalyptus tree okay we looked at that earlier didn't we look at the uh, the grain structure a little bit um, we mentioned ramming, didn't we? This is off an old saw handle um, and ash. Okay, now hardwoods are very durable. They're expensive to source. Um, they're very slow growing. They're generally darker in colour, but not always, but generally darker. Um, they are obviously more expensive because of the reasons I've just explained. Um, they are not sustainable timbers. These are timbers really we should be uh, not cutting down or using because um, they are such slow growing timbers and really these should be the ones that we, we look after. So, um, for instance, an oak tree may take between 50 and 100 years to fully mature um, and a beech tree 30 years or so or possibly even more. Right, so we're going to move on um, to the next category of woods and that will be man-made woods. So we're looking at um, man-made woods. And these are becoming much more common these days. They've been around for probably a couple of hundred years in various forms. The most common ones are chipboard, which is this plastic formaldehyde type top. Um, not a very sustainable timber in many ways because of the type of resins they use. 
um, but very, very commonly used in floorboarding and kitchen cabinets. Um, and as I say, um, this is the sort of timber we tend to see an awful lot now in um, flat pack type furniture. Uh, chipboard and then hardboard, made in a similar way, but very made from a, a sort of a pulp of uh, fine particles of timber and it's crushed together. This would have been perhaps that thick originally and then it's been compressed under maybe 50 to 100 tonnes to form a very rigid actually um, thin um, usable sheet there. And they, they make large sheets, you know, several metres wide and several metres long at a time. That's the luxury of a man-made wood because um, of course you can't buy trees that large. And this is MDF. You can also get LDF and HDF. Um, you've got medium density, low density, high density, and it's a fibre board. Okay, again, mixed with some sort of resin um, or formaldehyde, and it forms a very uh, useful material. It's been compacted down to a thin sheet in this case, about uh, 12 millimetres, and they've put a, a, a plastic, durable plastic top to it, and that's part of a worktop in a kitchen. Um, can be made quite attractive and... Um, a relatively cheap material, one of the cheapest out of the man-made timbers, but not great in damp dampness and actually not terribly strong in comparison to a, a solid timber, um, either soft or hard. Then you've got fibre board, uh, similar to MDF in many ways, used for pin boards and block board, literally made out of blocks of soft softwood um, glued together between two bits of plywood. And plywood, as you know, is this thinner material often made from layers. And here's some birch covered plywood and that's about eight or nine ply thick. A ply indicates the layer so you can add them up and on the top surface there's a thing called a veneer which is a very very thin layer of wood often um, a, quite a resilient uh, wood um, possibly even a hardwood. So plywood, block board, fibre board, MDF, hardboard, chipboard and there are other ones, there's laminates you can buy that are made up from various layers of plastic and other materials to form um, a man-made board. Here's a bit of um, skirting board from a house, you can see that's MDF and it's been pre-coated with a primer ready for uh, priming and they've already pre-moulded it, it's got a moulded edge it's called, different types of moulding you can get. Um, some of the products that you get um, from woods, paintbrush handles, uh, hammer handles, could be from an ash looks like, cricket bat, no, there's a cricket bat, that's made from willow and they often are covered and they look like, obviously like that, still very durable you see wood and very resilient, very tough. Um, and often um, you get um, curtain rail hooks, things like that. Okay, that's been machined on a lathe. And then moving on, just very quickly, you've got things, some even woodworking tools. There's a marking gauge there, made from beech. And that's went to a tri square. We think that's cherry, I'm not sure. But um, uh, it's quite a fascinating subject for some people, for others not so fascinating, but it's worth knowing some of the basics. Um, so when you're selecting woods, you, you know what you're actually buying and what you're paying for. Thank you. In summary, the woods, we looked at the uh, tree trunk and the uh, structure of the tree. We looked at um, converting the tree into logs. Um, we looked at softwoods and the various types of softwoods pines and we looked at hardwoods coming on to hardwoods as they get darker often they're harder um, and then we looked at the the types of species again look at that boxwood lovely wood some red oak here and then you can see as I mentioned the uh, the, 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 the colors becoming darker and the woods becoming denser more expensive to source not very sustainable and so forth um, but you know, quite a fascinating subject as we mentioned, um, and it's worthwhile knowing some of the, as I say, the basics. Okay, thank you.